Hey everybody, today I'm going to actually show you the green belt. I know a lot of people have done the green belt, but some haven't. Some ask, where does it start? Where does it finish? Is it difficult? Is it easy? So I think I'm going to address some of those questions today. Hopefully I don't follow my toise like I did last time. That is embarrassing. But yeah, the green belt, the trail starts on Southern Cross Drive. If you look behind me, that's Southern Cross Drive. On my left is Hart Bay, on my right you go to Kussenbosch, okay? So you come down here and then, what's it, 300, maybe 200, 300 meters, you could turn into, you see something, you see this big rock, and then you see the, the turn off over there. Now the turn off, it, it snakes down, as you, as, you can, as you guys can see, it's going to snake down and split into two parts, a technical section and a flowy section. I normally take a technical section down because um, I don't like the flowy section. The technical section has got roots in it. I know, don't talk about roots with me. But it, it's, it's nice. It's, it's not so bad if you know how to ride it properly. But I'll show you which one is what and how the, where the green belt goes and where it ends. And um, yeah, hopefully that answers some of your questions. Oh yeah, as you guys can see, I've got new glasses. Um, the docks, they're actually quite spunky. They're quite cheap as well. I think it's 280 bucks from bicycle that's here today. Um, it was actually a quite a painless uh, transaction. It was literally a, a click, click, ding dong. I clicked, the, uh, bought the one day, it literally got delivered the next day. So very happy with them. Bought one for my wife as well. She's got polarized ones for about 330 or something. It worked out pretty cheap for two sunglasses. I'm actually very happy with them. They fit quite well. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys on the trail. Can you come down here? Couple of berms. Alright, now it snakes off into two parts. As you can see, guys, guys can see, that's a rooty section over there, and that's a flowy section over here. So I'll show you both. I'm gonna do flowy section first and then I'm gonna do rooty section. Most of this is be done for up and down, but I don't like. Okay, well, this one is kind of a slog cycling up. The other one's more technical cycling up with roots and stuff. And a lot of people make jumps over here. And then you come up to the section over here. Right, now I'm going to do the second section. The rooty one. I think this entire trail is is blue or green. See what I mean by extra rooty? You have to watch out where front wheel goes. It ends up at the same position. Now this is, I think it's the third section. Third section is actually more rooted than the other one. So you have to be very careful on your line choice, otherwise you get stuck on some roots. I tend to stick a little bit left, and then I go, whew, that's a bit too left, and then I go all the way to the right. Let the bike roll down. These roots. Simple as that. Left, right. Right. I'm 
complain about it earlier, but keep making jumps around here. And remember guys, this is an up and down and a, a walker, hiker, dog friendly, kitty friendly trail. So you have to be very careful how you ride, how you ride this. That's okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. All right. A little climb. Oh. At the end of this road, look left and right, obviously. A lot of dog walkers on this route. The kids, I mean parents with kids playing in the in the grass and you have to be careful. My legs are toast already. Hey guys, so we just came from there. Normally, if you want to go back to Southern Cross Drive, you can either go that way, which is over the route, and it's seriously steep. If you're not a mountain goat, it's going to chow your legs and your fitness, and you'll be broken by the time you get to the top. The other alternative is you can go up there. Um, it goes under the trees along Southern Cross Drive, because this is that Southern Cross Drive. Under the trees, stick to the stick to the right, and if you carry on with the right, you end up exactly the same place where I just left off at the beginning of the video. So it is a little bit more climbing, not as technical, a lot more forgiving to actually ride up. Okay, now I'm gonna carry on straight. So yeah, after turning left at the little section I spoke about now, go down the hill, cross the road as soon as possible, left, right, obviously. Right, don't go straight because that's not allowed.
All right, let's go suppers up for lunch is served or we just don't stop parking up there. All right, and now the exchange side starts. Um, a lot of walkers here, a lot of dogs. Generally, there's a lot of dog, walkers and dogs here and, and young kids running all over the place. So forget about your Strava times, guys. Just ride this, relax, let the legs breathe a bit and enjoy it. It's so beautiful down here. Watching the dogs play. Not a care in the world. I love this area, little area. It's so I know, very peaceful. No stress. Empty your brain, empty your mind. Dammy and in winter it's always full in summer dry. Hi, right, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see goes a long way guys. Last thing you want to do is make enemies. Hmm. Wonder what's happening here. No worries, enjoy. Also, yeah, uh, a lot of horses. Yeah, horses, like I said. Cross when you can, otherwise, push the button. There are a few bridges on this on this route. You have to be careful that your handlebars don't touch them. Because that would be unpleasant for you. Alright, let's go find this way. Alright. Some horse farms around here. And um, this comes out by fiddlers on the bend.
I love this little section. So peaceful. I don't know why people race this the Strava time. It's the best thing you'll do all day, really just to relax, ride this. And relax like these people. Let them go. Ah dear, they're waiting. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Ade, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sorry. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, I don't like having bells. Seems to frighten people if you're coming from a distance. It's a sharp noise. I just come kind of close and then wait. It's been all day really. Was a bit of a climb that one. Okay, this is a blind corner, guys. So, watch out for people coming up. You know what I mean? I think you send, uh, tend to stick to the right and then go left because otherwise you yeah, have a big chance of getting to the river. Also, blind corner.
Maybe for kids. Almost at the end of the green belt. Just remember, I do use the blind, so don't go too fast. That's the M5 next to us. No, M3, sorry. Yeah, I'm M3. Into that little section. Right, here's a little side fork. If you go right um, over here, you get the load to kite, like where they're going. Yep, there's load to kite. And it, Hello. Hello. Oh. And that is that, the end of the Greenbelt Trail. Yep. Okay, this is River Path. And there we go, guys. Not so, diff not so difficult. It's quite easy to ride. A lot of horses, a lot of kids, uh, kids on bicycles, a lot of dogs. 
Um, it's a two-way. Be courteous, be mindful, um, let them pass instead of yourself. Uh, it's about bridging the gap, being friendly, and not make enemies. But yeah, the, the, the green belt is super easy, both ways. And if you get to just pass pedalers like I showed you guys, stick a left, go up the little path and come around. It's much easier. And I hope you guys enjoyed this trail. Uh, it's a lot easier and it's, not, it's, it's very pleasant. I hope you guys have a great day.